In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create a laurel like this in easy way by using the brushes in Adobe Illustrator. First thing first, we're gonna learn how to create a brush, and then use it to create a variety objects like this laurel, or any designs or objects to make it easier for us to work in Adobe Illustrator. Without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. Create a new document with size 1920 by 1080 pixel or you can use your own artboard size. First, open the brushes panel in the window menu, so we can focus on this panel. Besides that it makes it easier for us to manage the brushes that we have created. In this brushes panel, we can find the default brushes, and more brushes in the libraries panel, which will take you to the cloud library, or the brush library menu next to it. Here you can find various kinds of brushes separated by group, such as artistic calligraphy that you can use to create calligraphy or decorative brushes like this one. It's easy to create a brush, we just need to click on the new brush button right here, then a new brush panel will appear. In this panel, we can create various kinds of brushes, from calligraphic brush, scatter brush, art brush, bristle brush and pattern brush, and if you have made your choice you can just click OK. For example I chose a calligraphic brush and immediately clicked OK. In this option panel, you can directly give it a name. From this two white box, we can preview the shape of the brush, and in this section, we can adjust the shape of the brush, starting from the angle, roundness and size. You can immediately see the preview here if you make the settings. And to create a laurel using this brush, we're not going to use a calligraphy brush, instead use an art brush. But here the art brush type is not active because we have to create an object first, which is then made into a brush. To create the laurel brush, we have to create the leaves object first. Use the line segment tool and create a horizontal line with a size of 500 pixels. Place it in the middle of the artboard using the align tool horizontally and vertically. Open the stroke panel and set it to round cap. We gonna use this line later as a stem for the laurel leaves, then we will make the leaves. To make the leaves easily, I will first create a circle using the ellipse tool with a size of 80 pixels. It doesn't matter for the size because we can arrange it later. Flatten this circle like this. Then use direct selection tool, and select the anchor point on the left and right side of this circle. In the control panel overview at the bottom of the menu bar, click on this convert selected anchor point to corner to make this curved anchor point into a corner. Once this laurel leaf shape is formed, place it close to this line and rotate it 45 degrees. You can press and hold the shift key on the keyboard to rotate it exactly 45 degrees. Don't forget to swap the stroke color to the fill by pressing this button which is above the fill and stroke in the toolbar. Or, you can press Shift and X button on the keyboard for the shortcut. Duplicate this leaf up, and flip it vertically. Right click, Transforms, and Reflect. Align these two leaves so that their ends touch each other with this horizontal line. Duplicate one of the leaves and rotate it back to 45 degrees, Placing it at the end of the horizontal line and reduce the size. Select these two opposite leaves and unite them using units in the Pathfinder panel. Duplicate and place it near the single leaf. Resize it smaller. Now we just need to make a row of leaves between these two leaves. We don't need to make them one by one. We just need to blend them using the Blend tool on the toolbar. Click the larger leaf and then the smaller leaf. To adjust the distance between these leaves we can set it in the Blend Options panel. Double click the Blend tool on the toolbar to open it. Change the spacing to specified steps and adjust the amount to set the spacing. If you feel the distance is right, you can immediately click OK. Now, we are going to modify this stem to match the size of these leaves so they don't look stiff. Use the Direct Selection tool to make it longer. Then use the Width tool to adjust the thickness of the line randomly.
I think this laurel base is satisfying enough. Select all these objects and we will turn them into a brush. There are two ways to create a brush in the brushes panel. The first one is by pressing the new brush button. And the second way is by dragging the object that will be used as a brush into the brush panel. After that, a new brush panel will appear and give us options for the type of brush we will create. And to make this laurel brush I will choose the art brush. In the art brush options, we can directly give it a name. And for the settings just leave it by default and click OK. Temporarily move this object out off the artboard. Now the laurel brush that we created is in the brush list in the brushes panel. That means we able to use it. Ok the next step is we gonna make the laurel shape. If we go look at examples of laurel designs on the internet, we're going to find laurel shapes that are all in circular shape, so it will be easier for us to create them. To make such a circular laurel, we make it from the base of the circle. Use the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Place it in the center of the artboard, using the align tools vertically and horizontally. Use the direct selection tool to delete one of the anchor points on the right side. You can watch my other video which is about all selection tools and how to use them properly. Actually we only need half of this circle to make one side of the laurel and then duplicate it for the other side. After we get this path, just go to the brush panel and select the laurel brush that has been created. To create the other side of laurel you just need to duplicate it and flip it horizontally. It's just as simple as that, to make circular laurel very easily. You can watch my other video on how to make laurel on the card above here. And if you want to create another laurel model, you can use direct selection tool to modify the line path. Or use the pen tool to add more line or anchor point. But if you get a case like the one I got here, where the direction of the laurel changes after being modified, it's because the brush detects a new direction on the path, and makes the path end at the last anchor point added. The solution is, you just open the brush definition in the control panel overview, under the menu bar. And click this, option of the selected brush, button. And flip it with flip along. And that's it. With this technique, you be able to create any laurel shape of course, by creating a laurel brush first, and making a path line for the laurel path. You can make the laurel brush with various shapes with your creativity, because there are no standard rules for laurel models. And that's it for this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. And don't hesitate to ask me in the comments, see you in the next tutorial video.